So hello everyone, welcome to another live at Rain Dance. Today we're very happy to present you with director Gonzalo Massa and actress Paloma Salas from the movie Ellas Cristina. Uh, hello. Made the movie, one of the Spanish movies, well, Spanish speaking movies this year. Um, and while well, it's telling us the story about two best friends around the thirties, uh, suddenly they receive a wake up call. But I think uh, our guests here are better equipped to talk about uh, the movie. So, hello guys, how are you? Hello, hello, Laura. Hi. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Amazing. So, well, how was uh, the filmmaking process? How did you guys enjoy it? Uh, well, the, the, this film actually, I, I shot it uh, three years ago, and actually, it took a long time when things the, the the process of shooting and then the editing and and finally releasing the film, and um, so basically it was a it's a you know it's an independent film, and we were with friends, and it was shot in pretty much the house we see is my house, and <laughs> and and the dog there is Paloma's the, uh, dog. Yeah, so. oh maybe I should make him come in so you guys could look at him. He's doing good. fine. His karma is doing fine. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's a, it's a very familiar, very familiar environment to see. Uh, enjoy it. We enjoy it very much. And it was back in the day, you know, when people could touch each other and hug <laughs> and lick each other's faces. So <laughs> uh, I'm like, of, of course, I think we're all nostalgic of every single minute that happened before this year, but <laughs> I'm especially nostalgic of uh, those three weeks, four weeks we we made the movie because it was so much fun. It was a really tight, small uh, group, but I think we there was a lot of team spirit. So it only lasted four weeks of filming then? That's right, yeah. So wow. Yeah, yeah, it was very, a very, a very tight, method. very small crew, and and uh, well, the, one of the reasons I wanted to do it like that because I, I wanted to have full control of the process, and when you want to have that, that you need to have a small film, like a small, a small budget, and 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 also it was like a, I like the idea of work with friends, but pretty much everybody in the films uh, I met from before, and 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 that was amazing because you can feel that I think in the film, in, in a way you you can trespass that of to the course. audience. Did you knew each other before the film? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> See. Yeah. At first, at first, I invited Paloma to help me to write the script, and uh, okay. but she didn't. I was too lazy to write. She didn't write anything. <laughs> But uh, but the good thing about that at the beginning, I, when working with her, and and I realized she might be, she might be like a character in the film. So okay. actually, I asked her if she ever acted before, and, and she say that never, but it was the dream of her life. So, <laughs> Aloma, you are specialized in stand up comedy. See, si, I do stand up, right. or I or I okay. used to at least. Um, <laughs> Uh, and yeah, and uh, Gonzalo and I. Your yeah, oh, Gonzalo. Okay. See, no, it's fine. Uh, Gonzalo and I uh, used to get coffee a lot, like once a week, and we would talk about what like women my age were up to, because he's a boomer and he knows nothing about us. <laughs> no, oh back, it. oh back then, oh back then, it was what? It was like five, six years ago. I don't know. It was a bunch of time ago. I, yeah, I was twenty something, maybe. Oh, those days. Um, and and we would get together and maybe and talk about oh, uh, girls I knew. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. There was a little dysfase. Uh, yeah. See, and, and it, it kind of grew on us that maybe I could do one of the parts. Like, okay, yeah. Okay, That's and Gonzalo, um, you write a very complex feminine character, which is quite very interesting, very modern. And... I wanted to know, like, what was your inspiration behind it? Like, how, how did you find yourself writing? David? David, <laughs> David is here now. We can Does he know he he's here? here? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. I don't he's think he can hear us. Um, um, yeah. Ah, it, bye, David. It, it basically <laughs> was, um, yeah, it's, it, uh, I, 
I don't know why. I, I never had a very good answer for that question because I just uh, always, it just, I think I feel rejected by the male community <laughs> and okay. since I was a kid. So I never was good on, you know, football or like, uh, I, I used to be bullied so when I was a kid. So like, I think that's the reason I never felt part of the group. Okay. And, and I always find that women are, are much more intelligent, I mean, you know, interesting and funny. And that's true. I truly believe that. And I think it's, so all the time I was like surrounded by female friends and, and I was always like amazed trying to figure it out the way they think. And, 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 and I think one of the reasons I, 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 at the end, I, 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 I was, I've been writing female characters is because of that. It's because I still have this sense of amazement in okay. front of of female characters, of female, of female women. Yeah. Do you have any specific feminine figure that inspire you for this? Oh, well, actually, yeah, like friends, like female friends. Okay. And, and, I, and I used to have, I used to make fun of them because I, for me, it was always like a big question, like why, like, you know, like amazing, interesting, funny women in the early 30s, they were always having like, you know, as partners, they were choosing this most, the most, you know, arrogant, narcissistic <laughs> assholes, you know? And I also, I always ask why, like, why, why are you doing this connect, you're making these connections? Like, why do you think this is a good idea for you? And for me, it was funny. Okay, I okay. I think it was like a- I Because think, parents in the eighties sucked. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's, that's especially where it kind of, really bad <laughs> so maybe it's that but also i think it's that we are all we are all lost when when it comes See. to you know when it comes to fight but 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 i think women are more or used to be more lost because i think things have changed, have changed a lot in the last five years but um but i think i think so. i agree they're I agree. more selective now but um and, and, and i think especially in latin america there's this vision of a woman that I like the pobrecita or like you have to yeah. Poor thing. Um, support like it doesn't matter if the guy's complicated they have their faults and you have to keep on with it and I think in that sense Latin America tends to be a little bit far behind uh, that western European uh, public doesn't always get in some sense mm. I think so and I think I think there is, yeah. there is something there that maybe where I don't know if it's something, I don't think it's only in Latin America because, because when I've been showing the film in other places, like in Sweden, for example, and it, it was the same mm. reaction, like, yeah, assholes. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've been suffering with this, this asshole. Been suffering. <laughs> and, um, but uh, I, but I, I just don't have an answer. Yes, and I think the, the reason to make the film is because you don't have an answer to this. You only have questions. And, and I think that's a starting point for the film, like having okay. questions about these characters. <laughs> and why did you decide to film it in black and white? I'm curious. Um, because uh, it was my it, it, okay, many reasons. Uh, I love black and white films, and also I I love when directors made their first films in black and white. I think it's like you're saying in a way you're saying, okay, this is only like a you know like a small film. It's something it's some in a way it's kind of humble, and also it's beautiful. So it's, and all the directors I like and, and I love, they always make a first film in black and white. So I think I wanted to be part of it. <laughs> okay. Well, and I dare to say that this is a movie um, where there's a lot of strong feelings. There's a lot of, uh, uh, there's grieving, there's sadness, jealousy, happiness. Yeah. Uh, yet most of the characters don't really openly communicate these feelings. What, why is this? Um, I think if they were openly uh, available to share their feelings or if they knew uh, or they were like empowered by what they felt and felt the need to say it, then maybe okay. they wouldn't incur in that many uh, wrong choices, like bad choice making, you know, like when you say like, what you're saying makes me feel sad. So please don't say that to me. It's like, you're putting a limit. And when you put a limit, you're like mature and <laughs> they're not really that mature yet. I yeah, think. I think it's, it's about that. It's about like being a grown up. And, okay. and, and, I think, and I think, well, you know what, that, what happens now is like, 
people stay stay longer as a teenager. Like we are teenagers still in the thirties, and I think that's that's something that never that didn't happen before. <laughs> like it never happened before. It's and it, and that's the reason that we, especially not only women, but men especially. So even the forties, like people are still behaving like they were like seventeen or eighteen year old. And then I think it's I think it's that's something that is that is. It, we are used to that now, and, and so nobody's forcing you to be emotionally mature, you know. And and one of the things about being like that no, is true. it's it's like maybe you don't express your feelings in the right way. Yeah, no, definitely, super interesting. Um, Paloma, uh, a very interesting character uh, that you play, uh, Christina on and off best friend, uh, but it. Susana tends to contradict herself sometimes, no? She tells Christina to stand up for herself, yet she has a hard time working on her vulnerabilities. Um, what do you think is her role in the story? Um, well, that thing you say about contradicting herself, uh, this it's actually like the first person that says that uh, to me, um, but uh, it's totally right, it's totally right. And it makes me feel like, when I was younger and I would give like really good advice to my friends and I hadn't really lived a life either. So um, <laughs> sometimes you're a really good friend that fucks up all the time. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think I think Gonzalo was very, very generous in writing a character that is in a way very similar to me. So it wasn't that hard for me to jump from stand up to doing uh, Susana um, because I'm clearly not an actress. <laughs> and uh, it'd be, it, it, it would have been like <laughs> super, it would have been like super harder for me to be like pregnant and having to, mm -hmm. I don't know, walk in a different way and talk in a different way or no, no mm. say, having actually, having actually see, accent, having, like having, having like a Spanish accent and <laughs> <laughs> no sé, and missing an eye maybe. But, um, uh, but I think of, I, at, at least when I was in my twenties, I was very, very similar to Susana. Like I was still living with my mom. I would uh, constantly pick up stray dogs from the street Mm -hmm. And um, I was uh, obviously trying to fill a void uh, with, I don't know, uh, puppy love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I absolutely feel very much connected to her in many ways. Yes. Um, but as you can see, my life is full of light right now. And <laughs> I think I'm in a much better place. But... I think everyone goes through like a really tough time when you need support and you absolutely don't have it. And the only one that could take you out of that hole is your best friend. And sometimes she's not even there. So I think that's, I even think that's why the movie's in black and white because it's kind of, when you remember those times, you d tend to not remember them all, all quite well and not like orderly or, or like making any sense at all. Yeah, yeah no, definitely. And I think uh, if it was your, it is your first role, we don't notice that your acting is impeccable. Yeah, I think it's um, really good. I think, I think Paloma used to say that. Oh, we have to say, yeah, you're a really good actor, Paloma, don't worry. <laughs> Very humble. No, but I really feel like it no, comes through like good. I- She's amazing. Really good. I and really let me, feel- let me, let me say this, let me say this. <laughs> She's a really good actress, and I think one of the one of the one of the surprises of making this film with her was like so she she managed so well um, in the scenes that were very hard. You know, she was acting well with like amazing actors in Chile, like people with a whole lot of experience, and and, she, and for her it was the first time. But she was a natural, and uh, and, yeah. and 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 you can see that you can see it's true that at some point. Is similar to her, but not all the points and not all the things. And 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 I think it she managed very well, especially in moments that are very like, very very intense in in when in emotionally. No, 
<laughs> you guys, thank you. You guys, well, no stop, please, please go on. <laughs> no, it's just that I'm a really good actress, but I'm so humble that it just <laughs> contradicts itself. <laughs> Like Susanna, I love it. <laughs> and well, Christina, the actress that plays Christina, she was pregnant during the film, right? Yes. It was a few of the, the yeah. I mean, no, no, a few, a, a few, we don't, a few parts, we should, right? We should say the, the secrets, right? Hey. But, uh, but yeah, she was, but she was pregnant. Like she was actually pregnant in, in at some point in the film, not the whole film, but some parts. Was, yeah, some parts. Yeah. We're not gonna say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, something that I found interesting also is the order of the movie. If because the movie is divided in three distinct ch chapters, if I may say, just mm -hmm. like in a theater play, um, when both girlfriends are together, then they apart, and then they reunited. No, like there's three times. Yeah. Um, was there any intention behind this? Was it made on purpose? Um, mm, I don't know why I did that. I just I think it's it's because it gives you the sense of you are we're gonna tell you a story, and I think that when you 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 mark that and you say okay episode one, episode two, episode three, in a way you are like saying okay this is a story that we are telling you. It's it's like it's like underlying the the idea that this is this is a film, you know. And I think the black and white is yeah. the same idea. Maybe because uh, um, um, one of the reasons is because uh, since it's a very low budget film and, and, and then you want to make sure that it looks like a film. <laughs> and, that's why it's not why. and you have episodes and proper credits and, and you don't want to show that, that it's, it's a video, like we are friends with a camera making a film, you know? Yes. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, so really. it gives you the idea of like a fairy, fairy tale. <laughs> no, it, it certainly did. And uh, how was working working with uh, Sama Hayek? Oh, she um, well, I have been working with her in in London. She she lives in London, and and she uh, yes. since um, since um, we got the awards for a fantastic woman. Uh, I met her in in LA, and and we had a long talk, and then she. She invited me to work here in, in some of the projects she was, she's been working on. And at some point she was asking me, she asked me like, okay, what, what are we doing? Like, where are your own projects? And I told her about this film. And she said, oh, I wanna watch the film, please like, you know, bring it on and, and, and we can have a like a screening. And, and she watched the film and she loved it. And then, and then she said, okay, what can I do to help? You know, she's a superstar, she's an amazing, like she's, but like she's very humble at the same time, very like, supportive and kind of like me you know <laughs> yeah a bit like paloma and um <laughs> and so the thing is like she say okay if i i mean i would like to help you know like i'm being an executive producer and and that's that's how it happened okay well it turned out well yeah it's amazing. Yeah. um well gonzalo someone from the audience says that you, even if you already mentioned it can you talk a little bit more about your decision uh to make the film in black and white Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I I was saying that one of the reasons is because it's just because it's simply beautiful, and also because I wanted to be connected with all these amazing directors I admire that made their first films in in black and white. You know, like Jim Jarmusch or Bill Benders or, <laughs> <laughs> or Peter Bogdanovich. Or... So I think it's it's something that you it's like an statement in a way, but also it's it's very simple. It's beautiful. It's elegant. And it's only in black and white. Yes. So um, just to have an idea of like the the timeline of the movie, when did you decide to start writing the script? When did you first write the script? Like how? When did you actually came up with the idea of this movie? I how started. Long has it been to, to... Yeah, it took a long time. I started, I think, in 2014, and and I have these ideas of making this film. And that's actually the first person I approached was Mariana, the actress, uh, Christina. And I told her, you know what? I, I want to write a film, you know, for you to be the, the, the lead actress. And, and so if you're interested, like, uh, like uh, I want to pursue that. And, and she was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Like, 
happy and 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 I, I started doing that and and of course I was doing a lot of things at the same time but since I promised to her that I was writing a thing for her it was very good for me because like I was feeling the pressure of like I have to now have to do it you know like you could just I told her <laughs> and she was like you know so from time to time she was calling me and saying okay what about the film say oh I forgot <laughs> now I write in the film and uh because you, when you're a writer, you always put your director career in the last place, and and you don't, you're not really like you always have this idea that yeah maybe in the future I'm doing this, but who knows? <laughs> and uh, it was really good actually to have this pressure of like a moral pressure, um, because um, that gave me the um, the sense of responsibility that I needed for to to push the project. No, I. Congratulations again. Yeah. <laughs> um, Paloma, uh, both Christina and Susana uh, are very conflicted women and they seem to spend most of their time alone, even if they're not alone, at least in their head. Um, mm -hmm. uh, is there a lesson to learn from this? I think the big lesson in the movie is how powerful a female friendship is. Maybe all friendship, really but uh, female friendship in particular in this film, how maybe we are raised to believe uh, we need to change a man to be happy and uh, kind of tame these uh, incredibly obnoxious men into being good men for us. Uh, may it be your, uh, say your partner or your dad and um, there's so much pressure into being um, nice and good looking and a good uh, partner to someone's success, maybe not yours, but someone else's. And there are so many words that we hear since childhood that are said to men, you know, like intelligent or brave or funny, clever, whatever. And I think the movie shows how important it is to have someone on your side, you know, saying you are the intelligent one, you are the clever one, you have, you are the artistic one or the creative one, you know? And um, I think that's what uh, it still is for me, like the most precious gift the, the movie uh, has to offer, you know? is that bit of advice Susana gives Christina where she's like, oh, well, you wouldn't understand him. It's like, yeah, but I understand you, right? Like, um, and I think that's what's, maybe women, yes, go through proce processes by themselves and are maybe more uh, inwards or no sé, ha have emotional things that they have to carry on their own. But the movie kind of shows that friendship is a good way to not have to deal with things by yourself, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, for me, it was like, a, a, I wanted to make a romantic comedy, but about a friendship and I, <laughs> a female friendship. And I, and I think because you, you love your friends and, and actually the way you love your friends is not that different from the way you love your lovers. In the sense, sometimes you're jealous, and sometimes you have you big fights, and, and and you are sometimes you're possessive, um, and all the times you're just a companion, and 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 you're yeah. with them. And in the long run, your partner has to be your friend too. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to. Yeah. And 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 but um, <laughs> and and the other thing I like that I wanted to play with is this idea of having a love declaration. Like in a in a in a divorce. In the, uh, see, in, in the courthouse. In the courthouse, uh, because in all romantic comedies it's all about love, having love declarations in, in in a wedding. You know, like someone is getting married and there is someone else like running to uh, to the, the wedding. airport. I love you, or the or the airplane, or whatever. I love you, don't get married. And here was like <laughs> I, someone I love who's this. getting I love divorced. The romantic uh, comedy. Yeah, I think it's very it's very smart. I. I, I yeah. love your movie and I love the Thank acting, you. I love the camera, the mm. scenario. I think it was very smart and I think it's something that we we need more in cinema, this kind of topic. And I mean it touched it touched me very, very much. So congratulations okay. again. And Thank well, you. I hope I wish we could keep talking. Sadly, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we to are, wrap yeah. up. But 
lovely to meet you. Really an amazing work. And I really hope that it will continue to succeed and we'll mm -hmm. receive you again in Rain Dance in further editions with new projects and maybe you two together, maybe each on their own independent um, projects. But yeah, but best of so luck. this is the introduction of Paloma. This is introduction for Ryan. the future. And Gonzalo as a director, Paloma. both of us, we were both learning a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's amazing. That's amazing. Gracias, Aura. Gracias a ustedes. Muchísima suerte. Thank you. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Oh. Bye. Bye.